So speaking of those gaps, speaking of that system, is that kind of what you do as a life coach? You will coach people into, um, you know, those healthy habits? Yes, absolutely. So that, that's why we, we talk about something we've come up with called the B3. It's the B3 methodology. Uh, we train the brain, the body, and the breath equally, right? So there's no, I mean, these are three things that are intimately connected, but we don't train them um, as, as, a, as a species, I'll say as humans, all together. We usually train these things independently, right? You know, our brains, we go to work, we read, we study, but we're mostly sedentary when we're doing that, right? So we're only doing one of those things. Our bodies, we go to the gym and we, and we usually want to tune out. We want to let our day go. We don't want to think about it or anything like that. And then our breath, unless you're actually a breathwork practitioner or, you know, a high performing person who's trying to optimize habits, it's involuntary so you don't think about it. But how can three things perform at a high level together if you train them separately? So this is what we call the train like you play philosophy all three together. So when my clients work with me, you know, they're not only getting a psychologist, right? They're getting a life coach, accountability coach, a breathwork coach, a meditation coach, and a personal trainer. So we, I talk about five, and I'm, I'm a five in one. I have certifications, degrees, and all of these things. I've been studying them for a long time. So this is what we try to do. We say, listen, we're not trying to just attack this from one side, because as you said, I want your, your client wants to lose weight, and they're like, they're never touching their sleep. We're like, well, you're losing out on a huge like efficacy there by bringing this in. Let's take a holistic approach and holistic with a W H hole and then look at you through that lens and then work on all that stuff together and create these little simple habits, which I say like they're, they're positive habits by one. We're just trying to add 1% every single day to your habits. So, you know, if you don't work out at all, do two push-ups. Right. Two push-ups. That's all I'm asking you to do. You don't take naps. You don't sleep properly. Give yourself five minutes today. Right. You know, you're breathing. Just think about your like literally take 10 breaths. Just think about it. Just do it once that 10, 10 breaths, depending on how you breathe, takes approximately 30 to 60 seconds. We've made it so simple for you to follow because I know that the brain won't do things long term unless it likes it, unless it's really simple, unless it enjoys it. And this is where most of us fall short because we take on these really big, oh, I want to lose 30 pounds and I'm going on the paleo diet tomorrow. And <laughs> you've been eating like you've been eating suboptimal for years and all of a sudden overnight. Now, lightning bolt moments happen. This does happen, but you are a rare case. So it's like compound these little habits. And actually one of the books back here, I, you can see so it's by the snowboard, is Atomic Habits. Like it, it, James Clear talks about this, these little tiny Habits. There's another book, um, Robert Greene, I think it's, his name is, that call, it's, it's called uh, Tiny Habits. He's all about just doing these little small things, little, 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 that's it. And watch yourself change. Watch yourself change over the long term. Having habits that stick that are so easy, you don't even think about them anymore. As you do these things that you think take more time, you actually become more productive and you actually end up having more time in your day and accomplishing more. So there's the paradox of what most people give excuses for. I don't have the time. You'll have more time, I promise. 